The basic meaning of symbiosis is a close direct relationship between two species. This definition is accurate, but not extremely informative. There are three main types of symbiosis, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualistic symbiosis is when both species benefit. In commensalism, one species profits while the other remains largely unchanged. Parasitism entails one species benefiting at the other's expense. These are important to the field of biology because many communities cannot survive without working together in these ways. Let's go into more detail. Mutualistic symbiosis is a beneficial relationship for both of the species involved, such as bacteria in the human stomach that eats things that our body cannot digest. In this particular relationship, the bacteria benefits by getting food, and the human benefits because bacteria such as this often secretes vitamins. Mutualistic symbiosis is optional for some species, but for others is necessary in their life cycle. Commensalism is a relationship between two or more species, in which one species benefits while the other remains unconcerned or largely unharmed. Commensalistic bonds are rarely ne necessary for a species, and are often merely a convenience. An example of this relationship is how birds sometimes follow army ants. As the ants scare flying insects while they march, the birds can pick them out of the sky for food. The birds get food, and the ants would have scared the flying bugs away whether the birds were there or not. Commensalism is an uncommon relationship, but still important. The most well-known form of symbiosis is parasitism. This relationship involves two species, the parasite and the host. The title of parasite originates from a Greek word meaning one who eats from another's table, a title that certainly suits these creatures with their often fatal appetite. The parasite will attack a host in some way in order to get food or complete its life cycle. One of the most well-known parasites is the flea. The life cycle of a flea is completely dependent upon this particular symbiosis because without this relationship the flea cannot feed or mate. Compared to some other parasites, the flea is not quite as dangerous but can transmit diseases and be a general nuisance.